Come and listen to my story about a man named Fuck It's Hot As Hell. Look at this, Alabama fans. Put it in your brains. It's what's going to happen this fall. October. T-S-I-O, baby. This is one of my greatest memories ever as a Vol fan right here. 1982. Tennessee 35. Alabama 28. Ending 11 years of misery against the Crimson Tide. I was there. Just in case y'all were wondering how my progress was going, OBVD has dropped nine pounds. I know a lot of you had forgot about the little weight loss journey and hell, I forgot about it there for a minute. Um, but the last week or so, aside from uh, the Mexican Cokes, I've been kind of getting after it. Uh, I'm one of these dudes that you're going to have to pry my hamburger and my lasagna from my cold, dead fingers, unfortunately. But what I have realized over the many, many years of battling this fatness is... You can eat that shit and still lose weight. Um, now I'm not talking, you know, three value meals a day and, you know, two pans of lasagna a week. So I wanted to say thank you very much to my boy KS. I'm not going to say his name because I don't have his permission to say his name. But KS, I very much appreciate it. I talked to this dude, shit, it's been a month ago maybe. And we were talking about, uh, now this was in PMs, we were talking about old Tennessee games, and dude said he had a whole bunch of old Tennessee games on tape or whatever, and he'd be more than happy to send me some of them. So I'm like, hell yeah, send me up some orange. And lo and behold, yesterday my daughter brings me a package in the door, daddy, what is this? And I'm like, hmm, I don't know, I forgot about it. Straight up honest, I had forgot about the conversation, I would forgot about the videos and everything. And to be straight up honest with you, I forgot the dude's name. And I looked at the package and I was like, KS. And then I felt, I was feeling the package, I was like, damn, is this a bomb or something? You know, is this arsenic? Somebody trying to take old BVD out? I done pissed somebody off in one of my nutty ass videos? One of them pissed off BDU members down there got mad. Here's to the new BDU, by the way. Beverage Drinkers United. Actually, to our fearless leader, sorry, Che. I think we should change the name instead of the Beverage Drinkers United. I think we should be the uh, Raunchy Beverage Drinkers United. Because I'm going to drink some raunchy shit from time to time. And that way... We can call it the RBDU. You know, RBDU. Not your BDU, but RBDU, damn it. Old cowboy in Tennessee got fired up, didn't he? He don't like people challenging his little BB BDU. Now I know Law Tide and Bama Bill and Bama Tony and a few of the guys that I know really well on here understand that we just having some fun. But some of them BDU members is taking this shit serious. It's done got crucial. I mean, them motherfuckers is ready to fucking hop on a damn plane or climb up on their tractor or get in their damn 10-foot tall 4x4 and whoop some damn RBDU members. Anyway, I'm totally off topic here. You know, you can drop the pounds. The, 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 the thing is, figuring out how to keep them off. And that is my challenge got to ration that shit. I could not go the rest of my life. Well, I could. I could.
couldn't go the rest of my life eating fucking tofu and artichoke hearts. I got to have some good tasting food. Sorry, it's just me. But there are ways to drop the pounds without dropping the taste. And severely cutting back is one of them. I've tried the whole starving myself, you know, eating once a day shit. Yeah, you're going to lose some weight, but eventually you're going to start eating like a pig again. You're going to gain it all back plus 10 or 15. Ultimately, when you're a dude like me, it just boils down to how much you eat and how much activity you got. My metabolism is my metabolism. It's going to work at the rate it works at, period. So, I'm trying to work with my metabolism right now and cut way down on the shit. Yeah, I'm going to scoot through fucking Wendy's or you know, wherever, a few times a week, because, damn it, I ain't giving it up. But, instead of getting two or three double stacks and a large fry, you know, I might get one of those little 99 cent double stacks, a small fry, you know, and eat half of it. If you eat the shit slow enough, it will fill you up. You'll get your little Wendy's fix. Or McDonald's or Hardee's or Carl's Jr. or Steak and Shake Andy Sum Bastard. Bastard Andy Sum's got a steak and shake in his town. Fucker. Yeah, I'm jealous. Anyway. And finally today, let's talk about commitment. Yes, a topic that most women love to talk about with their men, and lots of men like to talk about with other men. Yes, guys, I want to talk to you men about commitment. Do you believe in commitment? I believe strongly in commitment, and I believe right now that Tennessee is sucking in commitments. Damn it! We've got two so far. Two. That right there alone, to me, says a lot about the state of our program here in East Tennessee. Alabama just picked up another recruit today, I believe, another commitment from Louisiana. Chose Alabama over LSU, Nebraska, Georgia, and a couple other teams. So, that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about commitment. Tennessee is failing in commitment right now. Two. Two. Last order of business for today, um, just got an email from uh, Spencer Wilking of HBO Sports and on, I believe it is Tuesday, May the 18th, they'll show um, Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel is going to be airing the Lane Kiffin feature, I guess, and they are supposed to be using part of my now infamous Lane Kiffin video in that um, show. I know some of you wanted to know when it was going to happen, so there's that info.